Now, of course, everyone's gearing up with their Oscar pools. What will you be sipping when you sit down to watch the Oscars this Sunday? Natalie McLean joins us, uh, a wine expert, and obviously wine can take a starring or supporting role in okay. films as well. Can we go through exactly. some of the biggest moments, the highlights? Sure, yeah. I, I love to give out my Oscars for best movie moments in, you know, like champagne and a best supporting I love role. Bubbly. Isn't Bubbly great? And it's featured in so many films. If we take, like, the classic Casablanca, Casablanca. and, you know, Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart are saying goodbye and the camera pans down to where she kind of tips over the champagne glass. It's a harbinger of things to come. And of course, James Bond is very famous for his champagne. Champagne is in Not almost all of them. Not just martinis. No, no. And Bollinger is often the champagne of, of James Bond before product placement days when yes. they didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, so champagne is pivotal. It's in a lot of movies to indicate celebration. Excellent. And then? Well, if we move on, one Bridget of my, Jones. Bridget Jones, she sort of, that movie coined Chardonnay Girl. Of course, H Helen Fielding is out with another book now, but uh, I think Chardonnay sort of came into its own with Bridget Jones. And, you know, she was home and moping and <laughs> eating chocolates and with happy to drink Chardonnay. By <laughs> exactly. That's a bad pairing, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Don't, don't pair <laughs> chocolates and Chardonnay. But um, now we have the movement against Chardonnay. But, you know, all things take full circle. And I'm sure Chardonnay will be back in, in style. Okay. I'm going to jump over to here because yes. what, what, you, everyone will remember this. Yes. Chianti and fava, fava beans. beans. Yeah. In the, in the vein of queasy wine pairings, <laughs> fava beans is not a good pairing. But it was a pairing. seminal moment. Is it was. It was. And you know, wine in, in with Hannibal oh. Lecter um, was an indication of his supreme culture and intelligence and learning and juxtaposed, of course, with a barbaric food pairing. Um, so in the movie, they say it's Chianti. That's what he says, uh, Anthony uh, Hopkins. But in the book, it's Amarone. Oh, so really? wine lovers were really upset about this because they felt that Hollywood had dumbed it down. But they're both very lovely full-bodied wines. Amarone, look for a hearty meat dish of the bovine kind. Yes. And they go well with uh, Doritos as well, I hear. Doritos, yes. yes. Movie snacks, yes. Popcorn, by the way, for the Chardonnay. Doritos, pretzels for the big reds. Yes, and the bubble really cl the bubbles clear out the palate. So anything exactly. greasy, greasy even if salt having, and vinegar yeah. chips. Oh, Excellent. Kinds. Okay, so now right. we're going to Hitchcock. Apparently, has movie uh, wine in his films as well. Yes, there's a pivotal ro uh, moment in that movie where they go down to the cellar, mm -hmm. and um, it's a, a spy movie. And the Cary Grant exclaims, oh my gosh, it's vintage sand. And it's the key to unlocking the mystery of the bad guys. So they open a pomard, which is a burgundy, in the cellar. And, and that's then all is unfolded. This one, though, is a modern day classic, Palmyre. We're moving on to disclosure with this wine ah, right it's here. It's light in color, isn't it? That is Pinot Noir, and uh, it's right there. And that um, is which film? Michael Saracen. He is a famous movie director. So not only are wines in the movies, but they're also made by directors. If we look at Francis Ford Coppola at the end. Fantastic vineyard. I know. Dracula, yep. very brooding and dark. In <laughs> California. Yes. And then Michael Saracen, I think Angela's Ashes, Midnight Express, uh, Harry Potter, and really? The he Prisoner of Azkaban. Exactly. And locally here we have Kloss and Chase. Sonia Smiths, if you remember Street Legal. Oh, yeah. Uh, and her husband, Seton McLean, uh, director own that in Prince Edward County, Ontario. Beautiful wines. I, I should say all of these wines are available. Area for sure. But back to disclosure, I do want to mention this because it's a great scene with Demi Moore and Michael Douglas up in the penthouse. And if you remember, she's trying to seduce him. Oh, yes. Yes. And wine plays. In a plays. very evil way. Exactly. And um, D um, Michael Douglas says, well, Paul Meyer, how did you know? How did you find this mm -hmm. wine? And she goes, I like all the boys under me to be happy. <laughs> so, oh. And she pours the wine and Etc. Yes. Well, I think what's interesting here is, you know, do you remember the character uh, that Paul Giamatti played in Sideways? He was a bit of a yes. wine snob. Sideways. And they, you know, these guys, middle age, going through a crisis yes. and they decide to take this road trip. That's but right. it doesn't have to be that kind of a highbrow no. experience. You really can pop open a few if you're having a party. Absolutely. And, uh, and in Sideways, they love Pinot Noir, which is the wine closest to you mm -hmm. because it was light and fruity. Of course, he sent Merlot on a tailspin, you know, his comments about Merlot. Yes, but uh, yeah, the, the lovely wine to, uh, to watch the awesome. Oscars. Of course, just don't drink and drive. No, the exactly. proper way to taste, of course, is to spit it out afterwards. So exactly. There you go. Absolutely. But cheers. Yeah, to cheers, the Nina. Cheers to you. This is really fun, though. Yeah. Which ones? Okay, so which one would be your favorite?